Okay, we're going to do things just a little bit differently for this chapter. And one of the things that we're going to do is that you'll notice I've created a series of GeoGebra applets for you, and I've embedded them on the class website, or I've given you a link to them, and you'll be working with them on the Internet. But there are a few instructions that I thought might be a little bit easier for you to understand if you saw what I was talking about. For instance, for the quadrilateral one, the applet on the page, you'll see that there's a set of instructions on one side of the page, and then the applet on the other side. The instructions are kind of long, and you will have to scroll through the page to get to them. But a couple of things that you'll notice, if you scroll inside the applet, it doesn't really start scrolling the page until you've gotten to the bottom of the applet. You'll also notice a couple of other things that will come up in the instructions. One has to do with this right here. This is your reset button. You want to click on this reset button anytime you've made a change to the applet. And when you click on that reset button, it puts the applet back as it was when I originally created it for you. The next thing you'll notice in your set of instructions is that it tells you to do certain things. For instance, when I look at task one, it says to display the diagonals of the quadrilateral or segments G and H. In order to do that, you're going to drop down the little segment indicator, and then you're going to find segment G and click on it, and segment H and click on it. That's how, you've dis how you have displayed those two segments. As you go on, it asks you, the task asks you certain questions. It also tells you to display other items. So to take off the display, you simply click it again, or you reset it, and it takes care of that for you. So those are a couple of things that would be very important for you to understand as you move forward. Always, at the end of each task, reset the applet before you begin the next task. Do not skip any of the steps in the task. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep it so that the applet scrolled down the page with each task. So you will have to do a little bit of scrolling back and forth. But hopefully what you'll notice is that I have created it so that you can keep working and reuse the same applet for the entire thing. You will have to think through the processes that you're doing. Please do not just follow the steps blindly, but think about each one and take copious notes as you work. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class.